Hello viewers, welcome to the section Creating and Managing Dependency Views. In this section we will learn about Dependency Views, Creating a New Map Indicator, Saving or Loading Dependency Map Views. Now we move on to the video Dependency Views. In this video we will learn about the basics of Organization Chart and Dependency Maps. What are Dependency Views? A Dependency View shows a snapshot of how different logical and physical infrastructure items are connected to one another. Logical grouping might be a business service, a reference to a process, or any other logical item, whereas a physical infrastructure item might be any infrastructure component like a server, network device, or any other infrastructure device. Dependency views are like organization charts, which have upstream and downstream relationships, such as a person whom he reports to or a supervisor, and then the downstream relationships are like the person's reportee. Dependency views have one root configuration item, or CI. By default, the dependency view shows the upstream and downstream CI. Administrators can configure the number of levels to be displayed in the dependency maps. In the dependency view maps, there are map indicators. The map indicators indicate any active or any pending issues against a given CI, such as any active incidents, problems, or changes associated with a CI. Many of the dependency relationships are automatically created by the discovery process. The created dependency views can be altered or deleted, or a new dependency can be manually created. Next, we will look into prerequisites for dependency views. There are basic prerequisites required to set up the dependency views. They are ServiceNow application. The configuration management database application must be enabled. Browser requirements. The latest version or service pack of internet browsers are required to view and manipulate dependency views maps. The next prerequisite is role requirements. Administrator or ITIL role or custom role is able to access the CMDB tables. The administrator has the ability to create or modify dependency views map indicators, create or modify map icons, create or modify map related items, create or modify dependency views menu actions, and create or edit a dependency type. Dependency views role required to access dependency view maps from the navigation menu, a script API, or directly from a URL. The ECMDB admin role is required to perform activities related to icons, indicator, and menu actions. The Dependency Views module supports the latest version or service pack of the browsers which we have listed here. Firefox with the latest ESR, Chrome version 25 or later, latest version recommended, Safari version 6 or later, Microsoft Internet Explorer, i.e., with these requirements and limitations. Dependency Views requires IE version 9 or later. You cannot export images from a Dependency Views map using IE as your browser. Next, we will look into the tables in Dependency Views. Dependency Views adds some of these listed functions in tables. CI Icons stores all available CI class icons. CI Type Icon is the map's icons to CI class names. Script Custom scripts that run in real time and generate a custom view of a map for a specific CI. View Serialize map views saved by users. Filters saved by users. Context menu. Default and custom context menu actions that appear when users right click a map. Related item. Stores which reference fields should be treated as relationships when building the map. This allows users to include CIs that are related via a reference field instead of a relationship. Edge color. Color definitions to use when drawing the relationships between nodes based on relationship type. Indicator. Stores all map indicators. Graph. Details of maps. Action is used for the actions on the map. In this video, we have learned about dependency views.